the camouflaged. If you didn't hear the sound of my voice, would you think it was a mirage? Because I'm in front of a tree. In a tree blanket, see? You see? Pretty nifty, huh? Optical illusion. Creating mass confusion. So I'm just bundled like a little matryoshka doll, babushka baby in front of the tree that was naked but a few days ago. Now it's not so naked. It's got lights on it. And soon it will be decorated in ornaments, galornaments. Galornaments! Oh my god, did I just come up with a company or what? Dibs, don't steal it. It's mine. Let's not have the TV in there. That's not a that's not very festive. Nobody wants to look at that. Or actually everybody wants to look at that, but here's me instead. This is like my favorite Christmas shirt. Maybe I should have saved it for uh a less self-deprecating, more self-celebratory video. But, hey, here it is anyway. Um, yeah, so, love this one. It's, uh, why can't I think of the name now? Now I'm gonna drive myself crazy. It's this artist, and I love it, and I sought it out. What's the artist? Uh, I sought it out. Now I'm gonna feel stupid. It's on this little... It's on this little uh, Santa Claus pin as well. Come on, we can do this. We've been talking about this a lot. Hold on. This is happening. We're okay. Mary Inglebright. Everything's okay. All things Mary and Mary Inglebright. So I've been really getting into that nostalgia. The old nostalgia calls ya. From the pits of the 90s and says buy me remember how you felt as a child so wild and free you can feel that way again <laughs> not really just kidding but you can kind of you could sport it anyway sport it and support it yeah sport it and support it so I'm just all bundled like a little bundle boo bringing some poetry to you um let's get real because this teal's the real deal they can't all be stunners okay they can't all be <laughs> masterful works from the depths of me that's not possible we've been doing this every day for 340 some odd days now <laughs> so sometimes it just has to be what it is and today it's just me going gee whiz I don't know. Here's some words. <laughs> some of them rhyme. Some of them keep time with the other words they rhyme with. So that's poetry, kids. Um, I did a really weird job today for these uh, occupational therapists in training where I pretended to be like a very annoying, like that patient, the patient that you just don't want to deal with. So I had to just like agonize and antagonize these poor students for like four and a half hours today. And my butt fell asleep in the weirdest way. And I was walking. It felt like there was fish hooks in my thighs because I was sitting on a same hard surface for four and a half hours. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. But I forget how to do these normal human people things, you know. So I was just like, oh, yeah. And I like got all into character. I was supposed to have like burns on my hand the the person I was playing so I like wrapped my hand and yeah I was just supposed to be that like intolerable woman that you just cannot everything that comes out of her mouth is annoying and uh it was hard stored a lot of tension in my body doing that it was like ah, I don't want to be this woman anymore so yeah I did that I did some other stuff wrote a poetry thing sometimes it's tough I don't know 
This is just some real honesty. Um, the first thought that popped into my head this morning when I woke up is like, hibernation. Yeah. No wonder that's a thing. That's just what I thought of. Just like, hibernation. Makes sense. <laughs> um, yeah. Because I'm just feeling a little dense and a little intense lately and greatly annoyed by myself and everybody who knows me keeps telling me to give myself a little credit and stop being so hard on myself and somehow I'm just in a pattern of it somehow I just can't stop being sort of mean to me so I wrote a poetry about it and now you will hear it and I'm a little E.T. a Christmas E.T. that's me in the, in the bicycle seat you can see it now, right? <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. Anyhow, what a delight. What a treat. Here it is. from you, To you, from me. Um, so don't, don't allow this to be the defining factor of my life or the, the, the broad sweeping depiction of who I am. It's just, we're getting up in the days here. We're getting, we're going all the way. We're not gonna stop. No way, no how, but boy, sometimes <laughs> I just uh, wonder how I'm going to make it all the way there. Um, with My brain's kind of puttering, you know, that when a car putters, sputter and putters. It's kind of like that. I'm like, P -p 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 come on, P -p 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 come on, and we're going to get there. So, um, yeah, it would be unfair to myself to expect that every poem is just going to be dazzling. Wow, Poet Laureate Award goes to. Because we're going through a whole entire calendar year here, people. So here's what I came up with today, and it's just some sincere feelings about still being unemployed and being a bit annoyed by myself and not really knowing what to do. And such. And just a touch of vulnerability. So here it is. From me to you. It's called Contemplating More Hibernating. Lately, I just can't ever seem to concentrate, finding it impossible to communicate. Animals who hibernate are making more and more sense to me. The intensity of the things I have yet to do to impress and improve have a tendency to just make it so that I cannot move at all. And I find myself curled up in a strange, motionless ball. That first nip of fall wasn't so bad, I guess, but as soon as I have to dress in three or more layers, I suddenly don't feel like a human team player. It's hard to care about my productivity output or getting my foot in some door I can't even seem to find, when my mind is a jumble and I fumble every task I'm asked to complete. I shiver from my forehead to my feet and seek heat as the world divides into those who hide and those who compete. The shift isn't even discreet. It's like someone's always stepping on my soul with cleats. I greet each day with the intention of defeating the gray with an array of rainbows I typically keep on hand. But I guess the demands for these rainbows reserves, for these rainbow reserves, have been served up so frequently that I'm finding my supply depleted substantially. Somebody dance with me before I sink into this abyss of blankets. Like I had a floor beneath me a second ago and some vengeful genie yanked it out from under me. The pull of slumber has me perma-drowsy. I guess I'm lousy at this self-motivated bit. I don't know where I fit in this NFT-obsessed reality. Why get dressed if it's all just a download or a gif, just as easy to forget as it is to delete? I retreat into eating too many sweets and heaps of fuzzy fabrics, enforcing bad habits, running the gamut from minimizing myself to evading my health, my vitamins remain untouched on the shelf. I ignore myself, telling myself to stop st sidestepping me. Hmm, what other cookies could I eat? I greet the day with tactics to run away from the ever-growing to-do stacks. 
I pull down more salty snacks. I need to have my own back, but my annoyance with me is a lot to unpack. Now there's a lack of chocolate. Guess I better restock it. How much could I fit in here? Oh dear, there I go again. Need to be a better friend to me. Hard to see the solution when I'm fleeing the thick pollution of my own self-critique. I open my mouth to speak and my brain is already chiding me. I gotta stop hiding me in there. But the door to choose is no more clear than it was when all my fears from these many years suddenly all became headlines on the news. I know it's up to me to find a way through. I'm not as good as I once was at finding clues. I want back in the groove. Wish there wasn't so much to prove out there. I stare out the window trying to manifest what's best for me. I strain my eyes and must confess that the stress is the clearest thing I see. It's like a game of chess, but I don't know how to play remotely. No one's going to show me the right door or the chessboard rules. In acting, they always tell us, We have the tools in our toolkit to make the pieces fit. It's a bit of a letdown when you root around for those invisible tools and feel like maybe all those acting teachers were trying to fool me. But fumbling for symbolic tools won't rule me. May not be easy right now, but I'll allow myself the space to face it all with grace and occasionally stuffing my face with comforting tastes. So either you can relate <laughs> or you can't relate, right? Either you can relate or you can't relate. Um, but yeah, I have not been great company to myself lately. I'm not sure how to shift that. Um, cause I have to be around me all the time. <laughs> there's no, um, there's no way around that. So I almost started crying for real there and I'm not going to do it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I don't know, probably eat some of those cookies I was talking about if I'm being real honest with you. And I always am because the steal's a real deal. So I don't know any other way to be. That's what I do. This is what I'm doing this whole time, every day. For the whole thing so I'll sing again I'll dance again I'll be a good friend to myself again <laughs> okay now I'm gonna cry for real <laughs> I was holding it off I was holding it off this is just like my therapy that I do right this weird little video thing where I talk to myself in a little screen um but yeah I've just been really mean to myself and I'm not sure what's up with that or how you stop doing that when it seems like the thing that's easiest to do or it just like comes really naturally somehow I think that's um, a bad sign um, when you find yourself bullying yourself it's not great <laughs> But here I am being honest about it, so maybe that's going to help me work through it or something. It's just been uh, being pointed out to me pretty clearly lately that um, that ain't going to get me nowhere. And I'm pretty sure that's real. That's love. That's care. When people say, hey, I've been noticing you um, kind of like pushing yourself over and tripping your own self intentionally. I uh, just had to mention, I don't think that's going to help you in the long run <laughs> so we've had a lot of fun on here but we've also been through some crazy times on this channel right the world has shifted quite some lot quite some a lot of sums <laughs> of shifts um yeah we've been going through it together if you've been on here with me thanks for weathering it with me. Um, so yeah, sometimes I just have to cry about it because it, I feel a lot of things about it all. Um, but you know what? I feel the call of the holidays and I'm in a 
decorate this tree. I'm going to decorate the blazes out of this tree. This tree is going to glimmer. It's going to shimmer. I'm going to shimmer. Uh, I'm going to shimmy myself right back into a better place in my head. Um, but yeah, some days, some days, I just feel the call of my bed telling me, come hibernate, Teal. I know you want to. <laughs> I know you want to hibernate in me. And I say, yes. It's true. I do. Let me grab some cookies first. <laughs> but I have a thirst for happiness. I have a thirst for liking myself more. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to pick a door. I'm going to find one. I'm going to put my hand right on the handle. Turn it and go, what's in here? I'm going to do that. So thanks for being with me in this weird, freaky journey. It's been a weird and freaky journey. And, uh, gosh, I don't even know what I'm going to do when it's the 365 time. Probably going to, probably going to lose my mind. Probably going to jump and jive. Not even know what to do next. Going to, like, have to, I don't know, buy one of those really extreme poppers. I know I've popped some little poppers on here on this channel before, but I'm talking like a popper where it's like, Pacoo! confetti, Brrr! it's going to be like that. So keep coming back, y'all. Keep coming back. We're going to keep on doing it. We're going to do it and do it and do it some more. Um, and yeah, just go forward. Just going to go forward. <laughs> and cover the tree literally and metaphorically in sparkly things. And sing again. Okay, so that's all I got, friends. But you know I got more. That's all I got now. But you know I'm going to have more. So, be here for it. Come on, be be here with me for it. Um, Sweet dreams. Good night. Be nice to yourself. You'll appreciate it later. It'll feel good to do that. I'm going to go do it too. Here's looking at you, kids. <laughs>